to start a vlog i don't even know what this vlog is going to be about honestly like i don't i don't know the title i just wanted to share what i bought from trader joe so maybe this will be uh, my first september vlog but let's get into what i bought trader joe's haul it was so hot today it's been it hasn't even been this hot today has been like 98 degrees going into 100 i just walked in just brought everything in some stuff is melted Please just use it, okay? I'm gonna show you all and get things put away. Okay, there we go. Ooh. See, this is why I can't do no makeup because I just be. Ooh. Anyways, for starters, we got us uh, some bananas. Um, we got some yogurt. Well, why I'm saying we? I got some yogurt. I never tried the Trader Joe's Greek yogurt, but I have heard good things about it. So I got apricot, apricot, apricot and mango. And I also have strawberry, both green. AC didn't even kick in yet. Um, if you've been on my channel before, you know I love these. These are one of my favorites. The Thai vegetable gazoyas. I don't know if I'm saying that right. If y'all know how to pronounce that, G-Y-O-Z-A, let me know if I'm saying that wrong. I ended up buying some chicken breasts. I've been fiending for a chicken Caesar salad, so I'ma have, I'ma have meat this month. But I'm not doing no alcohol. For September and October, no alcohol. So I'm gonna miss out on all the fall cocktails and all that, which it's really not that popular to me. It depends. Um, I bought some fresh Atlantic salmon, a nice little piece. I got some smoked Gouda. Let me put this in the fridge. Love me a good smoked Gouda grilled cheese, grits, something. Smoked Gouda something. Um, I picked up some uh, sun dried, some julienne sliced sun dried tomatoes. I don't know why I picked these up. I just picked them up to have in the house and hopefully they're coming handy. Yo, the bananas is sweating, they're so hot. Also got some Alaska, Alaska codfish. Is that coming up? I can't tell. It might be too bright. I also got some Alaskan codfish fillets. It's probably. It looks like it's about three or four fillets in here. I love a good fried cod. That is my thing, okay? Um, I also got some sweet potato gnocchi. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Gnocchi, gnocchi. These are really, really good. Now, when if you get these and try these, actually taste it before you season it because for some reason I had thought it had no flavor and I kind of made it overly salty trying to add seasoning. But it does come with a butter and sage flavoring in there, so I highly recommend these, but taste it so you know how to adjust your flavors, okay? Let me put this stuff in the freezer while it's out now, especially this fish and chicken and stuff. Ooh, Chad. Okay, so I've been seeing a lot of the ladies trying this. This is the Sparkling Berry Lemonade. I hope this is good. <laughs> I hope this is good. I am very picky about lemonade in general because my great-grandmother used to have a lemon tree in her backyard and she used to make it fresh. Whoo, baby. So I don't do, I don't like the mini made lemonade, like, what else? Them artificial lemonades and stuff, like I really, really like fresh lemonade. Sugar cane, lemon, regular sugar, brown sugar, lemon, water, that's it. No lemon concentrate, no, 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 no. I don't want to own it. Just give me some lemon water and some sugar, okay? But I have high, I have high hopes in that. Um, I want to say I forgot their channel, but I know the young lady name is Camille. I want to say her name is Camille. So I saw one of her vlogs and of her and her husband's channel. She recommended that, and I remember when I saw it, I was like, somebody told me to get this, but I don't remember. I think it is Camille. Camille and Cervante. Big shout out to y'all if y'all watching this. I got some organic orange shoes. I never tried Trader Joe's orange shoes. I saw this lady buying it. She bought like 10 of these. So I was like, oh, is it good or not, sis? But this will be my first time trying the orange shoes. I'm really finicky about some pasteurized stuff and some unpasteurized stuff. If y'all don't know, pasteurized is supposed to help kill like all the... I never know, is it safer to get pasteurized stuff? Is it better not to get unpasteurized stuff? Cause you know, in certain manufacturers and plants and all that you just never know but some people think it's not good and 
I guess the purpose of pasteurized stuff is supposed to be good to help kill all, you know, insects and pesticides and all that from food or, I don't know. Anyways, so that's bag one done. I also picked up a whole bunch of shots. One Suja shot. I love Suja stuff, okay? I love this stuff. If y'all haven't tried this brand of juices, shots, whatever, try it. Suja and tag them. Once you tag them, they really post you. Well, every time I tag them, they repost me. And I only have, what, like 200 followers on Instagram? So, if you're one of them girls and you need somebody to sponsor you, you know, shout out to Suja. Get your belly, get your gut right. And like I said, they do repost you. This is an immunity shot. It's vitamin D and zinc shot. Um, and it has probiotics in it. What's in it, I don't know. We're not going to go over that because it's too warm in here. I'm glad I'm at um, I also got the Acreola Cherry Juice Shots. This is a Trader Joe shot. I love these. These are actually pretty good as a shot. If you're not accustomed to taking these shots and you don't like bitter or natural taste and stuff on your palate, like at least try their Cola Cherry Shot. This is a really good shot for you and it tastes pretty good as well. I mean, it's a daily dose of vitamin C. You can read up on all the other nutritional facts if you want to. I also got Trader Joe's pineapple probiotic shot i never had this coconut it does have coconut in it ginger lemon juice pineapple juice that's pretty simple also got a turmeric shot different information whatever the case may be and i got another acryola cherry shot bag two i got some omega trail mix mix trail mix mix omega trek mix cranberry roasted nut blend Lobster ravioli, one of my faves. These are really good. Nine out of ten on these. I got some butternut squash ravioli triangles. Never had these, but excited for it. Um, clearly, in the state of New York, we're really not ready for fall because it is hot. Okay, it's now just getting hot. We went all through July being calm, cool, and copacetic. But whatever. Uh, I picked up some Argentinian red shrimp. I'm excited about these. I'm actually about to eat these now. It says it has ginger garlic butter and to garnish style seasoning. What? To grashy? To garnish? To grashy? It says <laughs> it says with ginger garlic butter and Targasian. Tar I feel sorry. <laughs> what? This is it. I feel real slow right now. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm about to look this up now and I'll show you, of course. We got some cauliflower gnocchi. Never tried these, but I can imagine they're really good. This is just, this doesn't say that it's seasoned, but it is vegan and gluten free. I ended up getting, yeah, I ended up getting two of those just in case it's good. Another of the sweet potato gnocchi. That is real good. I was just picking up stuff. I've. <laughs> I picked up some organic rainbow cauliflower. I'm not really big on cauliflower because it's not a natural vegetable. It's man-made grown and so is garlic. I remember looking it up and saw that, but I don't know. I have that. Alexa, is cauliflower a man-made vegetable? From home. Cauliflower is a man-made vegetable that has been developed over thousands of years through careful selection and breeding. Say it, I told you. So I'm not big on cauliflower, but I have heard there are some good benefits. I haven't had it in years. So I'm just, I just picked it up to try it, make something with it, keep something on my stomach, eating cleaner, okay? I'm tempted to eat way, way cleaner, y'all. This is why I got all the good stuff. I got some fresh black figs. I love a good fig. I am such, like I'm a charcuterie board, chartreuse board, charcuterie board, however you want to pronounce it. I am a I'm that type of person, like cheese, fresh fruit, a good black pepper cracker, oh my gosh. Some nice good fig jams, wheat crackers, multi-grain crackers. That is my thing. I just washed this off and this is how, oh, I haven't had a natural fig in a long time. Just in them. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now these are not sweet. These are not sweet, sweet. 
had all types of figs. They had the tiger fig. They had some yellow ones, some green ones. I don't know what they get. They're not, they're good, but they're not sugary sweet. Mm. Got some rosemary. 10 out of 10 hash browns. Oh, hash browns in the air fryer for about eight minutes. It depends on your air fryer, but what? You pop these in the air fryer in the morning with some eggs? Like, what? Some green pepper, bell pepper, eggs will be easy with the hash brown. Oh my gosh, stop. And I also got some colorful, colorful carrot flames. I never had these either, but it's carrots. Like, you can't really go wrong with carrots. I don't even see how people don't like carrots, period. To me, carrots are one of those things that is beneficial for your health overall, and you can make it sweet or savory, so. You can even like play with the texture. You can eat it raw, would you like it crunchy? You can get it really soft, puree it. I don't understand people don't like carrots. It's a little weird. And I don't like using that word weird because everybody's unique, but the people who hate carrots, it's like, how? Not even juice? Carrots are good for you. Why would you? You would not like something that's good for you. That means you're toxic. Word. Anyways, got me a fresh pineapple. Can't wait to cut this up. Um, it is right for people who don't know how to pick pineapple it's two ways to pick a good pineapple now this right here usually can be golden and yellow that's how you know like it's really really good and juicy at the bottom I chose to get a green one even though this is ready up here I just chose to get one that's kind of green because I'm not really ready to cut it as of yet another way to tell about the smell sometimes like sometimes pineapple give off that real pineapple smell that's how you know it's like real real sweet and juicy the third way you can tell is because if you pick out i didn't pick most of them out the center palm and it comes out easy and you don't have to well this, these are coming out easy yeah like this one's not coming out easy but then other two but it has to be in the middle if it comes out easy in the middle that means it's good and it's ready to go and this stuff is actually from another grocery store. I got some avocados. I'm so proud of myself. I'm trying to eat healthy. Let me try to open these. I got some black plums. I love these for a good late night snack. I'd rather eat that than eat some BS. And then I have some red apples. I have another bag. And it's got some Trader Joe stuff. Hold on. I know I have another bag. Big shout out to Sister Jacor. Some celery stalks for juicing the organic popcorn. I didn't, did not intend to get these. I intended to get the sweet and salty ones. The one that come in a pink bag. No, it's not sweet and salty. Yeah, it's sweet and salty flavor profile, but it's kettle corn title. It comes in a pink bag. Those are good as well. But I ended up getting the organic extra virgin olive oil. I don't like to overindulge in the sweets a lot of times. So I think that's why I got that. And I ended up getting some I got a test to fly. So Come up in the spot, let's get extra fly. And I'm about to get my sound started. For the day I die, I'ma test the sky. Gotta testify. Come up in the spot, looking extra fly. For the day I die. I'ma touch the sky. Back when they thought pink polos are hurt the rock. Before Cam got the shit to pop, the doors closed. I felt like bad boy street team. I couldn't work the locks. Now let's go. Take them back to the plan. Me and my mama hopped in that U Haul van. Any pessimists, I ain't talk to them. Plus, I ain't had no phone in my apartment. Let's take them back to the club. At least about an hour, I stand on line. I just wanted to dance. I went to take up an hour after I got my advance. I just wanted to shine. Jay Yo, I got a whole track loose in the back. I hope that wasn't showing earlier. But anyway, um, so I wanted to come on here real quick. And is that tomato mother? Give a big shout out to my homeboy Omi who just flew in and he bought me some salsa verde Doritos. Now I never had these and I usually use a good like um tortilla chip on the salad that I'm making, but these are fire. These is definitely number two on my list. I love the number two. And unfortunately, they don't sell this flavor in New York. I have been to multiple stores, multiple gas stations, 7-Eleven, whatever. They don't sell these flavors. So he picked me up two bags. Shout out to you, Boo Boo. And I hope you're safe while you're out here. And this is going in my sock. Now they look at me like, damn dog, you what I am A hip-hop legend, I think I died in an accident Cause this must be heaven 
I gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die, I'ma touch the sky.